Situated just off the main Scarborough to Pickering Road in sunny North Yorkshire, Jasmine Park is one of only seven Northeast sites to make our Top 100 Sites Awards. It's a peaceful and friendly site, perfectly placed for exploring the North Yorkshire moors and the wild, sandy coastline to the east. Within the hour you can get to Whitby, Scarborough, York, Moulton, Castle Howard, um, Filey, Bridlington. We're central to most of it, um, but we are in the quiet of the countryside if that's what you prefer as well, so best for all really. And while it's a great place for getting out and about, the facilities in the park are pretty good too. 2017 has seen Jasmine Park move up from a four gold AA Penance Award to a five gold Penance Award. Plus, it has a five star rating from the team at Visit England. There are 64 touring pitches on the site, all hard standing and all superior pitches, which means there's mains hookup, a TV point, running water, and grey water disposal, all within easy reach. And while there's no drive over motorhome point, there is a separate LSAN point for dealing with your cassette toilet. During the summer, these pitches do get booked up well in advance, but it's always worth a call to check availability. But it's not just tourers on site. A couple of static caravans are available for hire, so non-touring friends can come and join you. They have clean, modern interiors and well-equipped kitchens, and there's even a fire if the Yorkshire evenings get a little too chilly. There's plenty to keep children occupied too, from a football pitch to a neatly segregated play area with swings and a climbing frame, nicely surrounded by a noise-baffling hedge. There's no clubhouse at Jasmine Park, which is the way most visitors seem to like it, but there is a licensed shop that stocks food, drink, toys, and the usual touring essentials. The well-maintained toilet block has underfloor heating and is plenty spacious enough. There are washing machines and dryers available in the laundry room and a separate area for washing up your pots and pans. Plus there's also a large family or disabled bathroom for washing down children after a day on the beach. Talking of beaches, Scarborough may be the obvious choice, but there are plenty of other more secluded beaches along this stretch of coast. But be aware, some of them have been reported to have become unofficial naturist ones. There's plenty more to do inland with the North Yorkshire Moors on your doorstep. Dalby Forest Visitor Centre just 10 miles away and the small family-run Thornton Lee Dale Motor Museum just a 12 minute drive. Pickering is nine miles to the west, and despite sounding a little quaint, Flamingo Land Water and Amusement Park is a fully fledged theme park and zoo, and it's just 12 miles from Jasmine Park. Public transport links are available from the site, but they do involve a 20 minute walk or a short car journey. There's a bus stop up in the village in Snainton. There's a one to eight service there that goes every hour from Scarborough, which is about 20 minutes away, all the way along the A170 to Helmsley. Um, so there's some lovely villages and towns to be able to stop off there and have a wander around. It's about a 20 minute walk up to the, the bus stop from here. Um, but if you want to go up in the car, there is a park in there near the village hall, so you can leave the car there and hop on the bus and go wherever you want to, if that's what you want to do. It's such a good site. The gardens are kept clean. The toilet block is clean, there's a, there's a flat area, there's plenty of walks. It's clean, it's very friendly, I mean the, um, the wardens are great, if they have any problems you know they'll come sort you out and it's you know when it's summer it's brilliant. The, 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 way, the way that the site is run, the, the way that they cut the grass religiously, the way that they trim the edges, the way that they weed everything, the whole thing is so pristine. It, it, it's a fabulous, fabulous site. Wish we'd have been here years ago. 